Duncan Holder, hour number two on a Thursday, February 15th. Larry Holder, Jeff Duncan, Clyde Verdan here at our NOLA.com Times Picking Studios. D squared, dub, double D, Dave DeCourbier back at our iHeart Studios. Had uh, Tulane baseball coach Travis Jewett on in hour number one. Now we want to head uptown to UNO. Talk with Blake Dean, baseball coach for the Privateers. And first off, Blake, you have the MLB Andre Dawson Classic, which all I hear is Andre Dawson, and I'm Cubs fanatic from back when Andre Dawson wins the MVP. I think it's cool enough that you guys are involved in that. And then you've got one of your games this weekend, Saturday, that's going to be on MLB Network. Hey, how do you get involved in that? And then just to be involved in that, how how unique is that uh, for, for UNO? Well, it's, you know, it's something pretty cool for us. You know, the past couple of years, they've, they've named it the uh, MLB Irvin Invitational. So right across the street from our park, uh, Major League Baseball actually came in and built a facility. And it's very nice, which, you know, and they invite all the, the – uh, it's pretty much open to anybody. But most of the urban kids in the city come over. They practice them. They work them out. They got some good instruction. Uh, so this past year they, they wanted to expand it, and they've changed it to the Andre Dawson. So it's a, it's a no-brainer for us, not only because they're right across the street. We have such a good relationship with them. But it also brings a little, you know, enlightenment to our program from a younger uh, group of kids who they have over there. And it just makes us uh, all enjoy, you know, being around the game better and having a, a good program and a good tournament to get into. Coach, tell us, uh, just kind of give us a season preview. I mean, everybody's excited right now. Everybody's undefeated. Kind of give us your thoughts on your team, what you're excited about, maybe what concerns you have going into this season. Well, you know, last year, you know, for the past two years, we could really, really hit. That's kind of been what we've been known for. We could really swing the bats. You know, we hit almost 60 home runs last year, over 100 doubles. Uh, so we can really, really hit. And that's kind of what we've been known for. Well, you know, I lost a huge piece of my lineup last year. I lost uh, – my two middle infielders, uh, my brother, my DH, and my right fielder, who were all power guys. Uh, so that's some tough things to replace, but we felt like we had a, a good core coming back with McGee at third and Zayon at center and Cable behind the dish. Those were some, some big guys for us. Well, recently this past summer, Cable ended up hey, uh, getting an injury, and I thought he might be ready for the season, but it looks like he's not going to be ready this year. You know, He was a first-team preseason all-conference guy. He's going to be out for the year. Um, and then uh, Warren Zayon. Hit 15 home runs for me last year. My center fielder kind of had some stuff happen at practice the other day, and he's going to be out for probably at least two months. Um, so, you know, it's kind of one of those things to where we got to have some guys step up. we got to overcome it, and hopefully our pitching will kind of be the forefront for us this year. Blake Dean, UNO baseball coach, joining us right here on Dunk and Holder. And, look, since you've gotten there, we've seen an uptick with, with UNO baseball, and I was talking with the – with our guys in hour number one, and, and kind of before uh, UNO almost kind of fell off the map with athletics, they were a baseball, uh, a regular baseball power here uh, locally. How, how much have you uh, kind of relished being part of UNO and kind of having this team kind of get back uh, into uh, into some winning ways uh, in the lakefront? Well, it's, you know, it's what Coach Maestri built, and, you know, it's something that we wanted to, bring back and you know it's it's had success on and off for for many many years you know we're, we're trying to get it to where you know the concept uh, the success is basically consistent that's what our overall goal is it's just the people to recognize it for what it once was and coach mastery comes around all the time he can't get away from baseball you know and it's great to have him around uh, and it's you know the whole athletic department that you know hopefully is on the rise basketball has been doing very well won the conference last year they're sitting pretty nice this year um, so as a whole I think the athletic department at UNO is finally, you know, it's stable, it's on the rise, and hopefully we could continue to grow this thing because, like I said, for me, just making Coach Maestri happy, seeing, you know, seeing his face and how he goes around and brags about how we're doing, that, that does it all for me. Blake, you know, one of the things I was talking about, the, uh, talking to the guys with is I'm kind of a Southland lifer with, I've uh, gone to school, a Southland school, and I've seen kind of, you know, the ins and outs of it. You have played on the biggest stages. You've played in the pinnacle of college baseball in the SEC, uh, and now you're in the Southland. And one of the things I think, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on, is not a lot of people talk about the Southland nor know about the Southland's history, but the Southland has been a pretty competitive and challenging and really quality league. Can you talk a little bit about just how – you know, many people, if they don't, if they followed you and, you know, follow the SEC and see that college baseball, but now you come to the Southland and see that, how much, how 
quality the Southland has been when it comes to baseball and the players and teams that's been able to produce. Yeah, it's like you said, you know, I talked to Coach Diggs over at Sam Houston. You know, he's been a lot of places, A&M, Lafayette, and so forth. And, and we were talking last season at the tournament, and he, and he said this is the toughest baseball league he's ever been a part of. Uh, and, and, and it truly doesn't probably get as much credit as it deserves. Um, but, you know, I, the way I kind of tell recruits, parents, and players, and people in general is the only difference between the Southland and the SEC is my 1 through 18 are just as good as yours, but your 18 through 35 are probably better than mine. So that's, that's where the, the biggest separation occurs is just the depth of talent. Uh, because we all, you know, my Friday guy this year, he could, he could be a weekend starter at LSU this year. I had a 10th rounder go out last year to the Yankees. Um, so the, the talent is all pretty relevant. Um, and, you know, again, looking at midweek games, you know, uh, we, a lot of Southland teams play the, the Houstons and the LSUs and the Texas, uh, Texas Tech. And we, end up, you know, we win a lot of those games. Um, you know, I can tell people, yes, it's not their ace. But it's, it's not ours either, you know, and we're all going to war. So the talent level is definitely on the rise, especially in the state with all the schools we have, McNichols, Southeastern, McNeese, Northwestern. All those, uh, the baseball talent is unbelievable. I mean, it's like i got to go out of the state to kind of find the guys who I, who I really want because there's, everyone's fighting for the same players around here. Well, that's exactly what I was getting ready to ask you about, Blake. I mean, with, with Tulane here in town, obviously LSU right down the road, uh, what Southeastern Louisiana has been doing What's it like? What's the recruiting landscape like for you? And are you able to recruit nationally to get people to come into New Orleans? Yeah, you know, kind of what I told people is, you know, the past two years, what we did in two years at UNO with back-to-back 31 seasons, you know, that was more than I probably would have imagined, to be completely honest. But we are so far behind in the recruiting game because, let's be honest, now, now LSU is committing 2021s, uh, guys who are like in the ninth grade. So, you know, it's, you're so far out. So we're finally to the point now to where we've kind of caught back up. Um, but for me, I, I, I don't recruit just from New Orleans or just locally. I can go anywhere. Like I tell people, that's probably our number one recruiting tool. And two lanes as well is, you know, I tell people, hey, have you ever heard of Thibodeau, Louisiana? Well, 99% of the kids from, from New York or New Jersey or Chicago have never heard of Thibodeau. But, I, you know, have you heard of New Orleans? Of course. Everyone knows New Orleans, Mardi Gras. Uh, so I, I leave the States and I go all over. I got kids from Canada, New York, New Jersey. I got them from all over the place, and it's a big draw to bring them down to New Orleans and get them out of the cold and just bring them into an exciting culture. Blake Dean, UNO baseball coach, joining us right here on Dunk and Holder. How unique is it when you coach against LSU? And how unique is it that you guys were able to pick up a couple wins on them last year? Just, uh, you know, everybody knows you uh, from your playing days at LSU. Uh, It was pretty cool. I will have to say that didn't make my year. I talked to Coach from there yesterday, and, he told me they're not going to hold back on us this year. They're coming after us. So, uh, you know, it's fun. It's all fun and games. Uh, but obviously I want to win at the end of the day. But I always mess with him. You know, last year, I, or the first year I went up there, I told him, you know, Coach, a crucial situation, don't don't hit and run, don't bunt. I know your signs, and I'll pitch out. I said, so make sure you're hiding when you get the signs. It's just messing with him. But it's, it's great for us because, as, as people know, if you beat LSU, that's the top of the food chain, playing the national championship game. Um, so it helps us with recruiting as much as people, you know, downplay that. It really does. When you can say you beat LSU twice and they play in the national championship game, well, that's a big recruiting tool for us. But it also just gives me something to smile about as well. Well, Coach, tell us again about this weekend series and uh, what fans, if they want to come out to the game, how they can get tickets. And uh, it looks like we're going to have great weather for the weekend. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. We're actually home for our first three weekends. You know, we thought it was going to be cold, but it's warmed up. Uh, it'll be really nice. You know, we play at 6.30 Friday night, open up with a UIC. Uh, they're a very good team. We're in the regional last year, so should be a pretty good fight. I think they almost won 40 games last year. Uh, and then, like you said, we'll be over at uh, the Urban Youth Field uh, at uh, Wesley Barrow for the Saturday game, which will be on the MLB Network. And then Sunday we'll be back at our place at 1 for, uh, for Southern, um, which should be a good opening weekend for us. And then, you know, next weekend we got Ball State, Iowa, and Virginia Tech coming to our place. So should be a pretty good showing the next couple weekends, and hopefully we'll go out there and get a couple wins. UNO baseball coach Blake Dean, they're going to open up this weekend with the MLB Andre Dawson Classic. Uh, cool event out in the lakefront, and uh, cool that baseball is getting started, and it's always an exciting time of the year down here in southeastern Louisiana. Well, Blake, uh, Hope for continued success for you guys uh, out at UNO, and uh, we will uh, catch up with you down the line. Appreciate the time. Okay, that's Blake Dean, UNO baseball coach. Look, I, I, back.
back-to-back 30 win seasons uh, is something considering where UNO baseball was coming from. And he even admitted that he was surprised right. in the fact that that was the result of the past two seasons. And I think uh, it, he just he's dovetailing with the resurgence out on the lakefront with all the athletic programs for the most part. I mean, the women's basketball program from where they came from to now, we've talked a lot of times with Coach Sless about what they're doing in men's basketball. So you and know had a long way to come, probably further than any public university, Division One university in the country, and it's great to see them having success out there, do a lot of hard work. It's not easy to recruit out there, and uh, I think they had an identity crisis for a little while, but Blake Dean was a great hire, and you've got to get Derek Morrell and that group out there credit for putting the right people in place to lead this organization, these these teams, because it takes the it, it requires the right kind of personality and attitude to win out there. And I think Blake Dean kind of uh, represents that. You can tell he doesn't feel like they're handicapped at all, that, that they can win and compete with anybody, and he's doing it so far. And you're damn right you're going to use that you beat LSU twice in recruiting. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> you, you do that. So. I thought that was interesting what he said. Our 1 through 18 are as good. It's depth. That's kind of the truth with football, too. I mean, football yeah. is the is the ultimate numbers game. But in football, I mean, if you watch an SEC team, invariably they'll be playing these non-conference games and the games will be close at halftime. And in the second half, they just wear you down with their numbers. It's very, very much the same thing in baseball. No doubt about it. Why don't we take a break right here on the show because we got a little bit of breaking news on the Pelicans end. We figured out when the leak game. Leak gate. <laughs> leak gate. Uh, what is it? The catch basin gate. Call it that. Catch basin sheet gate. Something like that. Well, uh, we have the date of when that game is going to be rescheduled, and it's not pretty for the Pelicans. Uh, and we'll also talk Pelicans heading into the All-Star break. They've won three in a row. Uh, and if you want to get involved in that conversation, you can. 504-260-1280 is the number to uh, give us a buzz here at Sports1280, NOLA.com, the iHeartRadio app. Duncan Holder. <laughs> 